And he was transfigured before them, and his face shone like the sun, and his garments became as white as light. For God, who said, Light shall shine out of darkness, is the one who has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Christ. Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father who is in heaven. The building up of the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of the faith, and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to a mature man, to the measure of the stature which belongs to the fullness of Christ. But we all, with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as from the Lord, the Spirit. There is an eschatological dimension that God wants to open up for the church, so that the church, coming in the measure of stature, fullness of Christ, will make statements to principalities and powers. It will make Israel jealous. And when Jesus raptures the church out of the air so that we can be seated on those thrones so God can begin judgment of the world and judgment of the angels, and the whole scene between Revelation 6 and 19 that can begin to unfold, and the earth will be judged to prepare the world for its king. But there are thrones in heaven waiting to be seated, to be filled by church-age believers. To be a Christian is a high and holy thing involving a destiny that reaches right into eternity. And you know what? Believers have the capacity to throw it away.